All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record a high quality remote interview for your podcast. Just a reminder to use CleanFeed, you do need to be using the Chrome browser. As of now, that's the only browser that CleanFeed works uh, pristinely with. Uh, it looks like they're working on trying to get it to work uh, with other browsers, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens with that. But if you're using Chrome, uh, this website and this service is going to work exceptionally for you. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is log in. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to just go ahead and put that in. If you don't have an account, you need to make one. All right, so when you're log logged in, it's going to take you right into the recording interface. Now, in the upper left hand by the green microphone sign, you can see my name. It says it's ready, and you can see the green meter going up and down as I talk. That means my audio is being captured, and to me, uh, it's at a good level. Uh, you don't want it to be up in the yellow or red up at the top. That means it's clipping. Uh, it's at a good level for me right now, uh, and it means in the editing process, if it's quiet, I can make it louder if I need to. The other thing you're going to notice is that the meter is only capturing the audio on the left side. And what that means is when I do this interview, my audio is going to be captured on the left side, and my interviewee's audio is going to be captured on the right side. And that'll make a lot more sense when I take this stereo file and import it into my digital audio workstation later for editing, and I will show that to you guys as well. So when you get into CleanFeed in, into this recording interface, uh, the first thing you want to do is go up into the audio settings. Uh, I have this set to speech optimized, and that's what you're going to want it. It gives you options for low quality talk back. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Speech optimized and music optimized. And it gives you more options uh, if you have the paid version for this, which you don't need. Uh, trust me, the speech optimized quality is exceptional. Uh, other thing, you just want to check your playback device. So if you have an audio interface that has an XLR microphone, you're going to want to select that. If you have a USB microphone, you're going to want to select that, uh, and so on. And so... The next thing that's going to happen is you're going to want to go up into the upper left and click record. You're going to want to name your session. I'm going to call this pod peak test. Uh, I'm going to add the day and time to the file and I can change that later. And then down here, I'm going to click separate tracks. And what that is going to ensure is that when I'm done, it's going to export it as a stereo recording with my audio on the left and my interviewee's audio on the right. So when you've set this up, just go ahead and click record. As you can see, uh, my session is recording now. For demonstration purposes, I'm not actually going to hook up uh, to an interviewee right now, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So just go ahead and click connect here. Uh, type in the name of whoever you're going to be chatting with. Type in their email address. And then it's going to give you an option to send them a direct link, uh, direct invite to their e email, or you can take a link that they give you and send that to them via email. All your interviewee is going to need to do is they're going to need to click on that link. And when you are back here waiting for them, you're going to see their name pop up. And as soon as they're up and running, your session is already going to be recording. So you're going to be ready to do your interview. And one other thing I want to show you uh, while we're in here is over here on the right, there's this download sign. What this enables you to do, let's say you have an interview that's going to be an hour long. What I like to do to ensure against, like, say, any glitches or say somebody's internet goes out or some sort of catastrophe like that, what I like to do as I'm interviewing is every five to ten minutes, I'm just going to click this. And you can see in the lower left-hand corner of my screen that it just downloaded a WAV file. And so I like to do that incrementally as I'm recording, and that way, uh, no matter what, I'm always going to have my session backed up on a WAV file. Now, let's say you've done your hour-long interview and the session's gone great, you haven't had any cutouts. 
Well, at the very end of your session, just hit this again, and that will give you your most up-to-date stereo file of the whole recording. And it really is as simple as that. So now, let me show you how to import that stereo file into your digital audio workstation, split that file up into two separate mono files, and then you can start editing. All right, so as you can see, I am in my digital audio workstation Reaper, and I have a short clip from an interview I did about a month ago with a friend of mine who lives in the UK. So let's think about this for a minute. I'm in Anchorage, Alaska, and I did an interview with a friend of mine who lives in the UK. I don't know how many thousands of miles that is away, like 10,000 miles or something. Uh, he was using a pair of Apple earbuds with a voice piece. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you hear the quality of this audio. So I just have a clip of it here. I'm gonna go ahead and import that file. Okay, so here's the file. So as you can see, this is a stereo file. Uh, his audio is on the right, my audio is on the left. And as you can see, as it stands right here, his audio is louder than mine. Uh, but I'm gonna fix that. What I wanna do is I wanna split this stereo file up into two separate mono files so I can edit those clips separately apart from each other. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and you can do this in any digital audio workstation, doesn't matter if you have Audacity, GarageBand, Logic, Pro Tools, uh, any program can do this. But in Reaper, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this track. So now I have two of the exact same tracks. I'm gonna name this top one Evan, and I'm gonna name this bottom one Interviewee. So I'm gonna right click here, go into my item settings, and down here you can say, it says in Reaper, take channel mode mono left. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna turn the left-hand side of the stereo file into a mono track. So it's just going to turn my audio into a mono track. Boom, there's my audio. I'm gonna do the same thing to my interviewees track, but I'm gonna go to take channel mode mono right, and that's just gonna turn the right side of the stereo track into a mono track. Boom, there it is. Now, before I even listen back to this, I can see that the interviewee's audio is considerably louder than mine. I'm just gonna take this and clip gain this down a little bit. Uh, and that will ensure that it's not too loud. So let's just do a quick listen back to my friend's audio. Now, remember, he was recording his end of this with Apple earbuds. Listen to the quality. This is with no processing, no EQ, no leveling, nothing. And settled on one of them, which was the one of the buttresses to the right of Diamond Direct. That sounds pretty damn good. And then let's listen to my audio. That was, was that, so that Hunter trip was your first trip to Alaska? Also sounds pretty good. And both of those are separate. Now I can take this audio I can edit it any way I want. I can cut out sections. I can move it around. They're on separate tracks. That was really sloppy, but you get the idea. So really, recording interviews on clean feed is a game changer for podcasts. Uh, this has been incredible for me and my podcast. I can now do interviews with people all around the world. All they have to have is they just need to be using Google Chrome. Essentially, they just need to be using Apple earbuds, and I'm getting really high quality audio. I have very few glitches. It's been working great. I can't recommend Clean Feed enough if you're a podcaster and you need a high quality, free solution for doing remote interviews. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you join the PodPeak mailing list and make sure you come back to PodPeak and check out some of our other tutorials. And if you need podcast editing and production services, feel free to contact us and we will do an exceptional job for you. Take care.